And what's up everybody, it's your boy Uchi and we are here with today's episode summary and review and rating of Dragon Ball Super episode 97. This is going to basically be a new thing that we're going to be doing for Dragon Ball Super. It's going to follow after all the Super reactions, so the reactions will come out first obviously. And these will most likely get better over time since this is a brand new type of thing that we're doing. And I would like to make a special shout out to where I'm getting such an idea from. This is actually influenced off of a channel that I actually watch. It has nothing to do with what I do on my channel, but the way that they do their reviews and ratings for wrestling the format's really cool so i figured why not try it with anime so with super this is episode 97 and this is the episode rating review from your boy and brother ooch who influenced this as well in about 60 seconds i just took notes here so i will be referencing my phone so episode starts off with overview from last week that's a given that happens every week for the most part we get a summary of rules and then something new they actually mentioned that the tournament itself lasts 100 tech 48 minutes in earth time everyone starts fighting key blasts and everything's going all over the place universe 7 specifically goku frieza vegeta and both android they split up meanwhile gohan and the rest decide to stick together to try to follow gohan's plan of teamwork then we see goku trying to fight tapo but tapo was kind of occupied with another fighter and then goku was then occupied by some other dude from i believe universe 10 but still surprisingly got the most screen time out of all the characters more so than his two brothers even eliminating lily boo from universe 10 which is by the way the first confirmed elimination and he did so using his shining blast and then shortly after he starts fighting another universe 10 member named napapa then we get a cut back to the other universe 7 members that are sticking together and we see kamehameha we see a destructor disc solar flare special beam cannon but none of that was enough from who they were trying to fight then finally goku makes eye contact with jiren now obviously this is way too soon so don't even expect them to even touch each other because that's not even what happened goku got caught from behind in a chokehold and this dude almost got eliminated by this dude from universe 4 whose name is Nink. And this dude made Goku go Super Saiyan Blue just so he could break the hole and actually resulted in the dude's elimination. And the episode ends with Goku getting surrounded by the Trio of the Dangerous and two unnamed Universe 9 characters. So all in all, from top to bottom, here is our unique rating system. We got Su freaking Goy, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Man, Yajirobe, and Yamcha. <laughs> this week's episode is Saiyan Man. For starters, the episode was kind of slow to start. They took a good amount of time just to re-go over the rules of the tournament. They start fighting. There was a lot of dialogue that were just kind of like, okay, we just want to see fighting. We've been waiting for months and months for this tournament to happen. And we did get to see some good enough action. But surprisingly enough, they decided to utilize the other characters more. And surprisingly, like I said, Basil got the most screen time out of anybody in this episode. Especially when it came down to, like, the actual action. Goku, the whole episode, was literally in a chokehold the whole time. Outside of just walking around, staring, and trying to fight off that one other dude from Universe 10. And then, as far as the preview goes, the previews will not influence our result and rating. Goku has a white aura. Vegeta is seen fighting as a Super Saiyan. Goku is also seen fighting as a Super Saiyan. And there's obviously a lot more fighting in general that's going on. So looking forward, next episode might be better than this week. But as far as this week's goes, like I said, kind of slow, a little bit of action. It was very dialogue heavy. And overall, it was just average. It wasn't bad and it wasn't great. Tune in next week for episode 98 reaction and episode summary review. Let me know what you guys think and your rating are right above my head. And I'll see y'all next time.